I'm testing my latest video calling app with an avocado by throwing it. And the reason it's working perfectly right now is hours and hours of debugging I had to suffer through so you don't have to. With Floodflow, Agora and this video, you can build a video calling app in 10 minutes. My first video was about implementing a voice channel on Floodflow and people loved it. I received so many requests for more advanced implementation of voice channels or video calling and getting them to production. Today we are going to create a video calling app just like Zoom or Google Meet with no code in a record time. For the purpose of this video, I decided to create a really simple clone of Zoom meeting with a few authentication pages, homepage and a meeting page. On this video, we are only going to focus on the meeting page where we put the custom widget. Alright, to begin, we need to go to the code section and click on add and create a new widget. This is the main widget of this video. Okay, just copy the code and paste it over here. And you can find the code for this widget on GitHub. The link is in the description below. We have to set the widget name, just copy it from the code and paste it over on widget name and click on save. This will automatically add the parameters. As a last step on this page, we need to add some pop spec dependencies. The first one is Agora RTC engine. We are going to use an older version of it because it works really easily on the web. The version should be 5.3.0. And the next one is permission handler for Android and iOS to ask for camera and microphone. <coughs> And don't forget to click save. I'm guilty of forgetting it so many times. Now back to the meeting page. This one can be any page on your app. It, we just need to add our newly created custom widget and give it the width and height. And then we need to fill in channel name, app ID and token. To do that, we need to go to agora.io. And over there, uh, you can create an account. It's super simple. After creating the account, you will see something like this. Just click on create new project and this will add a new project on top of the other projects. Now click on configure. Over here, we're gonna keep this stage as testing and give it a use case. And if you scroll down a bit, this part is really important. First of all, we need to enable primary certificate and then delete no certificate. It's gonna ask for the owner's email and delete. Next, click on generate temp RTC token. This will allow us to test the app really quickly. On this page, first of all, copy app ID and just put it into Flutterflow and then give it a channel name. It could be whatever you want. Here, we're going to just put test two and it's gonna give us a token. So copy the channel name and put it into Flutterflow and copy token and do the same. Okay, we are done. We don't have any errors. We can publish it to the web. Uh, we first need to enable it for web and then publish it. And now publish. While we wait for the deployment, I wanted to share something with you guys. After creating this channel, I realized many Flutterflow developers spend hours, even days on problems that could be solved in a few minutes. That's pretty normal in the development world, but imagine if you could ask someone who has already been through those long hours, so you could save yourself a lot of trouble. That's why I launched a small Patreon community. I'll be spending time there to help out other Flutterflow developers with more technical stuff. By joining the community, I'll try to help you as much as possible and share exclusive content on Flutterflow and share the projects we create on these videos. I hope I can see you all over there. Back to throwing avocados. As you can see, it's deployed and working pretty well. There are some considerations for production apps. You'll need a cloud function to create the channels and the token for each of the users. It's not that hard, but it's a bit different for different types of apps. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and dropping a like on the video. See you on the next one.